So you want to reinvent your company, but you're looking for a little bit of inspiration, a little bit of motivation, some best practices. What are the hot new cases of business reinvention? That's the subject of today's conversation. Let's go. In the coming years, you and your business will have to face more change than ever before. Hi, Nadia Jaksinbaeva is here from Chief Reinvention Officer, the place to be if you want to reinvent yourself, reinvent your company, and reinvent the world around you. Today's subject of the conversation are the hot business cases, the examples of best practices, and I want to share with you three of them, three business cases of reinvention that are really exciting me right now. We will start with a range of hotels that are taking the cue from crowd sharing and office sharing. I'm sure many of you have already been in a co-working space, a place where you can share your seat and your desk with somebody else and only use the desk when you actually need it and pay when you actually need it. So a number of hotels are taking the cue from co-working spaces and instead of building new buildings and creating new spaces, they're actually using unutilized capacity. The hotel rooms, the conference spaces are all available for rent using a great service called Liquid Space. And this is a easy, easy reinvention. You have a capacity that is not being used. Maybe it's a room, maybe it's a car, maybe it's some people that are not fully utilized. You can find a new way to offer that unused capacity to the world. So that's case number one. Our second story comes from IT giant Google. And Google reinvents its processes all the time. But today we will talk about one aspect of Google operations that you probably don't pay attention much, which is food. Google serves 200,000 meals per day. And imagine how much of that food is wasted. To eliminate the waste, Google partnered with a company that is called LeanPath to make sure that chefs inside Google's kitchens are tracking the food waste. And just the simple act of tracking, even without using that data and redesigning the process, immediately cut down the waste. So sometimes, as the old wisdom goes, what gets measured gets managed. It still works. You just need to measure where is the potential waste and you will immediately find new ideas for reinvention. That's case number two. My favorite case of the moment, number three, Four Ocean, an amazing story of two surfer buddies that were in Bali. And as they were trying to get into the ocean, they noticed that all of the villages and all of the shores are covered with plastic waste. Even the fishermen were struggling, pedaling their big fisherman boats or small boats through the tons and tons of plastic. So these two guys created a company called Four Ocean. What do they sell? They sell goodwill. They sell experience. They sell a sense of meaning. Four Ocean founders decided that instead of waiting for days, weeks, sometimes even decades for very expensive technology, we can do something about ocean waste right now. Because the fishermen that are struggling to get through the plastic are also struggling to catch the fish. You all know that our oceans are becoming overfished. So they have not enough fish to bring home and feed their families. And at the same time, plastic is suffocating the ocean. So the founders of Four Oceans said, how about we start paying the same fishermen for fishing plastic out of the ocean instead of fishing the rare fish? How about we utilize the same human capital and create a livelihood for these people. And to finance it, we will sell products that are made out of the plastic waste they collected. So Four Ocean sells gifts, mainly bracelets, uh, water bottles, other gifts that allow you to donate a little bit of your goodwill. So if you are struggling to find a meaningful present for a friend, you can offer them a bracelet. That money finances the ocean cleanup and it finances the fishermen that no longer can sustain themselves by fishing. Everyone wins. So as you can see, three very different examples, three very different cases, they show you what a huge range you have when it comes to reinvention. 
All it takes is to actually do it. To help you with this, we created a set of amazing business model reinvention cards. 15 cards plus two exercises. You can get them today. Download them where you watch this video. Make sure you use these three inspirations to inspire and follow and break through in your company. Subscribe, share, and I will see you very soon.